Welcome to the Biology Man channel. If you love my videos, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Today, we will talk about this breathing curve, which shows the pressure changes in the lungs during inhalation and exhalation. Before watching this video, you had better familiarize yourself with the breathing mechanism first. There are two common types of HKDSE questions related to this curve. One type of the questions asks you to identify the period of time for inhalation or exhalation. In another type of questions, you need to point out the state of the breathing muscles. Let's take a look at the first common type of questions. The y-axis is the pressure in the lungs in mmHg, whereas mmHg is the unit of pressure. The x-axis shows the time. Pay attention to the unit of time in the graph. When we breathe, the lung pressure will change according to the volume change of the thoracic cavity. In order to identify the period of inhalation and exhalation, you must understand two things. First, the atmospheric pressure is 760 mmHg. Second, air flows from high pressure region to low pressure region. In the period PQR, the curve is above 760 mmHg, which means the lung pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure. So air flows out from the lungs to the atmosphere. Exhalation occurs. In the period RST, the curve is below 760 mmHg, which means the lung pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure. So air flows into the lungs from the atmosphere. Inhalation takes place. If you still find it difficult, you can draw an arrow between the curve and the y-axis which indicates the level of atmospheric pressure at 760 mmHg. The arrows always point down in the graph as they show the direction of airflow from high pressure region to the lower one. The other common type of question asks for the state of breathing muscles in a period of time. The breathing muscles are intercostal muscles and diaphragm muscles. Bear in mind, there are only two states of muscles, either contract or relax. After you identify in a graph which period is inhalation or exhalation, you should find it easy to answer this type of questions. Breathing muscles contract during inhalation and relax during exhalation. There are two variations of these question types in the past DSE exam. First, the question may ask about the moment which the lungs have the largest volume. To better understand this scenario, you need to take a deep breath now. You may notice that the lungs reaches its largest volume towards the end of the inhalation and the moment before exhalation starts. And in the graph, T should be that moment. After T, exhalation starts. Another variation may ask you to calculate the breathing rate. Breathing rate is the number of breaths per minute. You need to identify how much time one single breath, including both inhalation and exhalation, takes. In this graph, PT is one breath. For instance, if PT takes 3 seconds, there are altogether 20 breaths in 1 minute. The breathing rate will then be 20 breaths per minute. After all, I hope this video can help you comprehend this graph and curve of breath.
and tackle these types of questions in the exam. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.